good everyone it's your boy matt diazbo coming at you with another album review another one let's get it today i'm checking out the band foreign hands with their newest album what's left unsaid foreign hands is a melodic hardcore band that comes from somewhere i can't remember where exactly but they are from delaware and they've been a band since about 2018 and they have a mix of very emotional style lyrics with some really chaotic style metalcore and melodic playing and this band was uh, brought to my attention to because one of my good friends was like yo i love foreign hands they're one of my favorite bands you gotta check them out matt and i was like say no more fam and i've uh, done some reactions to them i've kept up with them throughout the uh, past year of making videos and stuff and uh, i can see why he likes them and I kind of understand why I'm liking them more too. What's left unsaid about Foreign Hand's new album? More people aren't talking about this well-crafted and just amazing melodic hardcore album. It's pretty freaking good. I gotta say this band has really carved their own lane when it comes to making melodic hardcore because they have some really good heavy and ripping riffs here. Some really, really, really groovy and nice well-played drums and bass and they have a style of unclean and clean vocals that both like sound really good especially the unclean vocals but the clean vocals have so much raw emotion to them that is just like quite impressive the band is really able to establish their heavy sound with the opening tracks resetting the senses and a memory and latency with how the guitar riffs here they have a really intense feel to them that just really pummel you as you listen and then you got some drums here that have a really deep and fast playing style that just sounds really dope and then you have those uh lyrics that go along with this uh these songs that just have a really hard and intense sound to them uh i can't remember exactly but one of the songs he says something on the lines of like severing the arm from me and it just sounds so so fucking hard so i want to play a clip of uh resetting the senses so you can get a sense of that uh heaviness they have The combo of those drums and guitars just beat you in. Oof. And on the clean vocals on this album, I love how he's able to hit some high notes here that just sound really, really good. And also they are able to inject these clean vocals at the right moments in their songs to where it, you know, it just feels really well-deserved and it just goes with the flow of the song very nicely. I would say a good example of those clean vocals is on the song Horror Domain. Uh, the way he comes in with his clean vocals, they sound really nice. And they add some nice gang vocals with the song. And it helps to add some nice variation to their formula. So I'm going to play a clip of Horror Domain for you. comes in so clean like you don't even realize it i'm kind of torn between what i like the most on this album and it's either between like the vocals or the drumming both of these uh parts of the band just sound so good and just play so well on this album the drummer is able to play some really really tight patterns here and also throw in some nice dynamic drum feels that sound really fresh and really really interesting like on the songs a memory's latency and Advers uh, adversaries a uh, splitting image uh, particularly on that last song, he's able to do a nice little drum feel that just sounds super tasteful and just like they would say chef's kiss in terms of just how it's being executed. So I'm going to play a clip of that for you right now. Going from like some really like fun technical playing to some simple playing, he does it so cleanly. It's nice. The riffs on this album can go from like insanely heavy to them pulling it back a little bit and giving it more of a melodic feel to it. 
and still having a nice bounce to it. Like on the track Laceration Wings, the guitar playing here is really good and also the tuning of the guitar has a really nice heavy and beefy feel to it. And I like that they don't just stick to the whole metalcore sound all the time because they throw in some nice ambient uh, melodic parts to help break things up a little bit and help flesh out the songs. Like on the song uh, God's uh, Under Fingernail, just something about how they incorporate other uh, sounds into their song. It just helps it feel more of a, I guess, a well-constructed song. I felt like the bass, though, was a little bit lacking throughout this album, but there are some times where it does get some moments of like being able to shine and feel a little bit more fleshed out, like on Adversary Splitting Image. You get some good bass playing on there, but on other parts of the album, it feels like the bass is a little forgotten. And so with this album from Foreign Hands, I think they were able to do a really good job of keeping your attention and your focus throughout this whole listening experience by incorporating some uh, different elements that you wouldn't normally hear in hard uh, metalcore with those ambient sounds, some more melodic playing, some really good uh, high un uh, clean vocals. So you get a good balance of that heavy, heavy and some light moments to make it a very enjoyable listening experience. So I would say this hour from Foreign Hands is a good and decent 8.5 out of 10. Yeah, uh, links down below. Check out their new album, What's Left Unsaid. Um, like, subscribe, comment. Tell me what you think about this album. Um, tell me what else I should review. And until next time, guys, like always, I will see you in the pit. Yay.